piety. It's the month of i'tikaf, seclusion. The month of Ramadan is the month that every single one of us is supposed to say goodbye to the world and connect himself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The month of Ramadan is the month where every one of us is supposed to put his head down and work and work and work and work and work and he doesn't raise his head until the day of Eid. But unfortunately today it's the exact opposite. Today the month of Ramadan has become a festive month. It's a month of celebration. It's a month of nightlife. It's a month of hanging out. It's a month of chilling out with the boys. It's the month of, hey, you invite me, inshallah, for iftar, and I'm going to invite you, inshallah, for iftar. It's the month of feasts. It's the month, ah, oh, you know, it's the month where all of our family gets together, mashallah. The month of fasting has become the month of food. <laughs> the month of tahajjud has become the month of hanging out. The month of the Quran has become the month of gossip. Did you see? Did you hear? Did you go? Did you come? Tell me what's happening. Tell me what's on the ground. And Muslims, religious Muslims now. We want, we wait for the month of Ramadan. Brother, I love the month of Ramadan. MashaAllah, why do you love it? There's just this buzz in the air. And Allahu Akbar, and what do you do with this buzz? I do anything and everything except which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants me to do. You see, my brothers, one of the names of the day of resurrection is the day of regret. One of the names of the day of resurrection is the day of regret. Why? Because on that day when you stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you realize the opportunities that Allah gave, the chances that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave, the amount of time that we wasted, the amount of bounties and blessings that Allah gave me and I rejected, you will see the weight of all of this when you stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today, now, when you and I think of last Ramadan, the Ramadan that, yeah, it came and I didn't do much. Now, today, when you and I talk about it, big deal, you know, better luck next time. Habibi, now you can have that conversation. But when you stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you realize the opportunity that Allah gave you and you realize how you wasted it. Allah says on that day, people will be biting on their fingers. That's the day. That's the day when the young child, his hair will go gray. That's the day when the pregnant woman will lose her load. That's the day when people will be walking around like they're intoxicated. Allah says, nay, they are not intoxicated. Rather, the severity of that day has driven people insane. Madness. Today, you will know, when you look at the Ramadan that passed, you think, yeah, what's the big deal, inshallah? I'm going to try better this year. Habibi, no. On that day, wallahi, you will cry tears of blood. That Allah gave you a bounty. That Allah gave you a gift. That Allah gave you the opportunity. He gave me the chance. And how did I deal with it? How did I deal with it? My brothers, wallahi, if you know the value of the month of Ramadan, your heart would be dancing, bro. Wallahi, the opportunities and the chances that you have. The rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The gates of hellfire are closed. The gates of paradise are open. And Allah, imagine the shayateen are chained. This is your chance. This is your moment. This is your opportunity. And where are we, brother? We're in shisha bars. We're playing cards with the boys. We're going for drives. You know, it's not very popular here. But come, come. Wallahi, come to Sydney. Religious brothers, they fish from Isha all the way to Fajr. And we sleep all day. Why? Because the month of Ramadan has become a month of...